name is Charmaine and welcome to my channel. Sorry you can't see my face <laughs> because I want to make sure the position of the camera is on my table so you can be able to see how I'm using this, this cinch. Today, the video is going to be about how to bind my planners. I had so many people that wanted to learn how to do that. I have a video, part one, is on my YouTube channel showing you how I designed my planner in Canva.com. Camel.com does have a free software, but you can also purchase it. I purchased my mines. I'm, I have the business edition, okay? But I did design this whole planner in Canva.com. And then what I did was, since this is 130 pages in this planner, y'all, I had to have the 12 months and the um, then the 52 weeks. So that's a lot of paper, okay? So what I did was, I printed this out at um, Office Depot. They printed out for me because I didn't want to put all this ink in my printer, okay? And then they cut it for me because, you know, when you print it out on Canva, it shows the bleed sometimes. So they cut it around it. So it's down to, instead of eight and a half by 10, instead of eight and a half by 11, it's eight and a half by 10, I believe. Let me go ahead and measure it. They basically cut it, cut the um white um border off. So it is eight by 10 okay so this is the measurements of my um journal okay so let me just show you the cover okay and what the, the cover is sticker sticker paper i got from um office before they print this off on sticker paper and then the next page is the chipboard let me just show you real quick the planner first page i'm gonna turn it this way I won't mess it up. Then I, when I flip it, let me show. You. Okay, first page. Second page, and it flips that way. Then we have the goals. Okay. Then we have the um papers you can print your goals on. And I keep on going. A couple more sheets for the goals. Sorry, y'all. I'm kind of backwards because the way I got my camera positioned. Okay. Then we have the personal reflections. Okay. Then after that, we have a couple sheets to write on our personal reflections on. Okay, more sheets for that. Okay, then the next one is the monthly calendar. Then basically you will see the monthly calendar side by side. The sheets are going to look just like this. I can't show you now. I can show you after I bind it, okay? Okay, that's how it's going to look. Okay. And then, after the monthly the monthly. We go to the weekly calendar, okay, and then side by side, it'll look like this. Because on the back of each page, it has the, um, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on the front, and then um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday on the back, and Sunday, okay? So it's kind of awkward for me to show you how, how it is, how it's supposed to look right now. I'm going to show it to you after I bind it, okay? Now let me make sure it's back to the way it's supposed to look. So just give me a second. I want to bind it and it's all a mess. So now the first thing I need to do is go ahead and... This is sticker paper, okay? So I need to make sure I stick this onto my cover. To my chipboard, okay? Chipboard, I also got this from um, Office Max. They went on here and printed everything out for me. They gave me a printer. They gave me chipboard. But I also brought me some... I have my own chipboard I got from Amazon. Now I'm going to leak everything below. I have my own sticker paper also that I got on Amazon, and I'll leak everything below for you to go ahead and get that if you don't go to Office Max, Office Depot, I'm sorry. And I do use Office Depot sticker paper. I love their paper. I love it. Okay, so let me go ahead and lay this flat on here. I got to take my time and do this because I am selling this, and this is too much paper to be trying to waste. And I'm basically bringing this to you because I've been having a lot of people asking me how I bind them. So I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and ship it out to my customer, okay? Like I said, I had the video to show you how to design it. And also have another video showing you how to bind the um plant, I mean the um journals. But somebody want me to show them how to bind the um planters, which is the same thing, though, y'all. It's the same process. Okay, and I like to make it a little bigger so you can just go ahead and wrap it. Okay. So you won't see the brown. And on mine, I buy I like the white chipboard better than the brown because it's, the, the white is prettier than the brown. So I just use um I, I purchased some white chipboard from Amazon, okay? So the back's gonna be white and not brown. Okay. So here this is all done. Here's my cover. Beautiful. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the back cover. Also before I um cinch it. Throw this away. The back cover, I'm just gonna basically put the same background on the back, but it's gonna just be success is sexy. Put it on the back like that, okay? Sticker paper also. So go ahead, I'm gonna do this, do this the, the way I the easier way this time. Take a little piece off and start with that part first instead of using the whole thing at, at one time. Okay. It's the better way, it's the best way to do it. So you won't stick to your chipboard. That's why I like Office Depot sticker paper because the one you get from Amazon or the one you get from Cricut is kind of, you got to take the whole part off and it'd be kind of hard to work with, okay? So now I just do this like this. Then just peel this part off. Go in the garbage and it's ready. Just go ahead and slide it on. Okay, hold it and slide it. Hold it and slide it, okay? And there we have it. Here's my back. Let me show you real quick. This is my front. And this is my back. Like I said, this is a lot of paper, y'all. This is 130 sheets of paper. And that's the only reason why I don't um, use my printer. Because I don't use all that ink. I don't want to print all that. And it is double-sided, y'all. When people want to know if it's double-sided, yes, it's double-sided. I do have the um, Epson... 7710 and 7720. I use the 7710 for my sublimation and I use the 7720 for my um regular ink. And I could have did that on there, but I just didn't want to do all these pages. And plus, like I said, it's double sided. All these sheets are double sided. Okay. So no, let's go ahead. And I, the paper they use is um not cardstock, but it's the second. You know how you use regular copy paper? It's the second one up from regular copy paper at Office Depot. I don't know what 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 it is, what the number is, but it's not the. It's just ask them for, if you do get it printed out at Office Max to let them know that you want the planner type paper. Okay, it's more. It's a little bit thicker than regular paper. Okay, but it's not thick it's cardstock. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go to our cinch. Okay. Basically, I, I explained everything on how to work the cinch in my other videos. I don't want to make this video very long. But since this journal is 10 inches long, you have to basically, it tells you right here, all the inches right here. It tells you um, the inches 12, 11, 10, 9, 8 and a half, 8 and, and so forth. Which So I'm going to be using the 10 inch. I don't know if you can see that, but it says 10 right there. So that means... I got to take off the plug eight, okay? So the plug eight won't make a hole so high up with the paper, and it won't. It it just basically it mess up the paper if you put the hole up too high. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna start with the back and go up, okay? So I'm gonna turn this up, turn it this way, and start from the back, and I'm gonna do the chipboard first. So basically, you start all the way from you pull this all the way up so it can't go anymore. Make sure all your blue, make sure all your things are in. Okay, make sure they're all in and make sure when you put this in, this inside of this is clean. Okay, no paper in there because if it's not clean, you will get messed up. So I got some scissors right here just in case I need it. So now, what I'm going to do is, one thing you need to worry about is when you're doing the second hole, the second punch on your board, you got to bring this down. So let me show you step by step. You push it all the way in to make sure it's all the way in. All your blue things are in. And you come all the way down, okay? Hold it in tight and bring it down, okay? 
you bring it up so there's your holes perfectly in there so now you got to bring it all the way down it says this is 10 inches and we already measured knowing it was 10 10 inches long you got to take out the peg eight if you don't take out the peg eight it's going to make a hole too high upon your board and it's going to it won't fit okay but just just follow the tell you right here to put the, the, the pull out the number eight okay make sure everything else is still in there okay so let's do that right now then you can also have a little hole on the, on the side right here and if you can push this little lever down on the side let me show you lever on the side to keep your cardboard sturdy okay let's push it down so keep the cardboard sturdy or paper sturdy and then go ahead and put it down push it down remember we had the number eight out okay so lift this back up pull it out and it's perfect okay but you have to remember to every time you do your second punch on your paper, which is the um second punch, you always gotta move that eight back out. But right now we gotta push it in. Okay. It's kind of confusing, but it's, it's, it's the rules are so simple. Okay. So now oh shoot, did I do it that way? Did I do that right? Oh yeah, I did it right. I was like, Lord. Okay, so now I gotta make sure when I do all these pages, make sure I turn them the right way because I don't wanna mess up the binding okay so i'm gonna do it like this make sure it's going this way okay so i take all my pages and you can it don't matter i mean it depends on how many papers you pages you want don't make it too thick because this, this do do like papers i don't know how much it is in here i'm just gonna go as i feel okay but you can get it kind of thick make sure the paper in there make sure the eight is pushed in push it on down yeah that was a lot of paper in there Okay, this time I'm not gonna put that much in there. Just go by the feel of it. Okay, did good. As long as my hose is in there. So I'm make sure no paper in there. Just, just clean. Bring it on down. Push that thing down there so it can be straight. Then push the eight out. Pull the eight out. Sometimes you gotta move the lever a little bit. Okay, it's out. Number eight, because it's 10 inches. Then you go ahead, make sure everything else is in here, and go down. Okay, I'll snap this. And there we have it, y'all. Here's our holes. Here's our holes. Okay. So that's how we do it. So I'll keep on going and do the rest of these. We'll do a couple more. Pull it on in. Push that eight back in. Make sure the paper inside there. And go ahead and do it. Push it closer. It's just it's so easy. People want me to show you. Like I said, I showed you how to do it with my journals, but they want me to show you how to do it with the um planner. And they want me to show me. I didn't do the calendar either. But it's the same exact way, y'all. Just basically cut y'all um do y'all calendar double sided, and just make sure your cover is not double sided because your cover cover is going on chipboard. If you're using chipboard or if you're laminating, you can laminate your cover or you can use chipboard. Okay. Take some of these out. Like I said, I'm taking my time because I'm selling this, so I'm not in a rush to do this. So keep the eight in there right now until we go down. So all the all the ones should be in. Bring it up. Bring it down. And then I'm take that eight out. Straighten it back up. Bring this in here so it stays sturdy. Uh, the eight out, the eight is out. Okay, bring it back out. And there we have it. Okay, so let me go ahead and do the rest of these. Take my time and do them so the holes won't mess up. Like I said, I'm selling this and I do not want no problems. I'll be back with the end results. I'm going to show you how to bind, to put the wire in there after I'm done with this, okay? Okay, I'm going to show you my, my last two punches. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and push the eight in. Keep it in when you're doing the top. When you're doing the bottom. Okay. When you're doing the bottom. Keep the um punch in. Keep the eight in. Then I'm going to go ahead and punch it. Ooh. 
It was kind of thick. Then come down and you do the top. That's when you take the eight out. Okay. There we have it. We push it in there, make sure it's in there tight. The eight is out. We don't want to waste no good paper. And there we have it. Nice punches. Nice holes. I'll show you in a minute. And then this is the card chipboard. I usually do the chipboard by the Make sure we end up throw papers in there. Take the, take the scissors and just clean it out just in case there's no problems. Push the eight in. Then you go ahead and push the cardboard in there. Make it tight. Go down. Bring it all the way down. Take the eight out. Make sure it's straight. Okay, it's straight, it's sturdy. The eight is out. And voila, I didn't mess up this time, y'all. So, so then you can also clean your little cinch out with all the paper that you just used. You just basically, let me see how I do this. Oh, basically just pull this little tray out right here. Empty it out, there's paper. Get all out of the garbage. So you have no problems. And we come back and we're gonna put those um the, the binds on the binding the binding wire. You basically just hook it on here right here. The um the, the wide let me show you the wide part goes right here. It can hang like that, like so. Then you have to just just put your pages in there. Everything looks good, y'all. The binding went great. Okay, I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm happy. So now let's go ahead. Make sure your, your um, binder is big enough for your project. This right here, uh, let me show you. Well, I'll show you after I push this in. I got to move my camera back up. I'll show you what size this is in a minute, okay? So basically, you got to put the, um, go right to the bottom. You always gonna have extra. See how I have extra. So just make sure you keep that bottom hole. Take a few of them. Put them on here. Just just basically hold it up for you so you can be able to put it on the wire, y'all. That's all this. This is all this is for. Okay. Make sure they in each hole. Get another stack. Okay. Start with the bottom. Go up. There we go. Another stack from the bottom. And start from the bottom. And go up. There we go. And then that's the last few pages. Start from the bottom and go up. Okay, so now we just basically take this whole thing out. And, here's, and then we just twist it a little bit so it won't fall out. Okay, so twist this in a little bit. And there we have it. Okay. Let me just look through it real quick to make sure, see how I look before I bind it. Looks good, y'all. Looks good. Okay, so if you bind it, it's over. I mean, you can always cut it, but you'll just mess up this binding thing right here and cut it piece by piece. But Okay, so now let me show you right here. This is basically where we push this in to bind, right here. You watch your fingers right here because you will smash them, okay? You basically got to bring this all the way down right here and it smashes the binding tool. But right here, as you can see, it tells you, asks you what size you're looking for. And you basically just push this down and this thing, this little thing right here turns, see? Push this down, this little knob, and then this little tiny thing right here turns to the size you want it, okay? So we are doing that. Um, I got a mark right here, five eighths. Okay, I'm gonna do the five eighths right here. I got it marked right there. So I just make sure that this little thing is right here in front of the five eighths. And if it's not tight enough, you can always go back that way to make it tighter. Okay. So what we need to do is bring the notebook in and make sure this is um, positioned like this, like the shark ink, like teeth. Okay. And close, you basically closing this mouth. So these can, little things can go inside the big thing. Okay. So you're just closing this up so it can go fucking smash in. So just make sure you have it like this. We can also, you can always start with the, 
one end and go up if the if the um if the length is not long enough. Okay, so I'm gonna start right here, smash it on down, and move it back, move it over some more. About right here to get all, get the whole thing in there. Smash it on down. Okay, and there we go. See how it closed up a little bit more. And I can really do it again, y'all. Like if you close it up, this is how you ain't gonna be able to open it all the way. Oh, that looks good. I'm gonna do it one more time and bring it down just a little bit. Okay, so all you gotta do is start right here, smash it down, bring it on um, down, smash it again. Look at that. It looks good, okay? It looks good. So now let me show you um how I get rid of this extra piece. So I'm gonna just start, I'm gonna basically cut it right here in the middle. Cause this binding is already in this little hole right here. So you don't have to worry about it. So take some scissors or you get, if you have wire cutter, if you have wire cutters, you can use those. Or if you just use scissors and just cut right in the middle. Okay. And then just basically trying to bend this down some because this can't be sharp. I just bend it down a little bit. Okay y'all, let's check out our binder. Let's go from the, just the front. Okay. The next page. Okay. The next page. I'm going to show you most of them. I'm just going to look from right here. Then I'm going to go all the way through to the next section. Let's see where the next section started. Right here. Okay. So there you have it. You can do your um personal reflections. You can go keep on going. I do like 15 pages each, so you can have enough to write. Then the next one is monthly calendar. That's how the monthly calendar looks. On one side it has Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, second side, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And notes. Okay. I mean, you know what I mean. Saturday, I mean Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and notes. I'm sorry. Okay. Go on, go on. I'm flipping pages, but I have 12 months here, y'all. Okay. And then we're going to go to our... Let's find my um, sec next section. Here it is. Weekly calendar. And you just have all those... All 52 weeks, okay? That's in the year. Okay. And then we get to the end. And then we have the back. Our binding. And here we have it, y'all. If you like the content of the video, please subscribe to my channel. Please check out my Facebook group called Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. I do a lot of fun things on that um group. I do a lot of lives to show you how to do different projects, okay? We help each other with our crafts. We share. Also, check out my website, www.charminggalboutique.com. I have sublimation blanks. If you're into sublimation, I have sublimation blanks. But if you don't want to create this yourself, let me design it for you. And just check out all of my items on my website. Um, My YouTube channel is filled with, filled with so many different projects. I do sublimation. I do paper crafts. I do um, vinyl, journals, calendars. All kind of stuff, planners. So just check me out on my webs on my um on my YouTube channel, and also check out my Etsy page. It's Charming Gal Boutique with the number two. Okay, Charming Gal Charming Gal Boutique two. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be blessed.